Hey guys, welcome to back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to use user data or how to add user data to our EC2 instance using cloud formation template. So let's get started. So the first thing that we have mentioned is about parameters. Within the parameters, we have mentioned SSH key of type key pair key name followed by the description. Okay. So this is a description for our SSH key. Next thing is we have also added resources where my instance is a type, is a logical ID of the TC2 instance. Okay. And within the properties, we have mentioned availability zones, image ID of which the instance should be created, followed by instance type, which is t2.micro. You can use any of those, whatever your requirement is. Then we have got key name where we have referenced this parameter. Next thing is the security groups. For security groups, we have created SSH security group as a logical name of the security group, followed by properties along with a group description as well as security group ingress, where we have used the ports 22 as well as 80. 22 is for the SSH, whereas 80 is for the web server. And in this, we have mentioned user data. So for user data, within the properties, we have to mention user data as a specific section, within which we mention a function named base64 and vertical pipe. And the whole script can be written in this way. Now, what is this vertical pipe used for? This is basically used to indicate a large string with each command having considering the new line. Okay, so that's it for this YAML file. Now, let's go to the cloud formation and create a stack. So, I'll be clicking on create stack. Since template is already available, I will be using template is ready followed by upload a template file. We are uploading this particular file named user data. And next, in this I'll be writing the stack name as user data example. Okay, then we have got this, I will be using this particular SSH key. You can if you don't have any of those created, you can go and create them. I have already had one, so I'll be using that only. Now for the tag, I'll be adding name as my instance. Okay. Then for the role, I'll be keeping everything else as it is. Then you can see now that our YAML file gets stored in the S3 bucket, followed by different parameters, among which SSH key over here, that is AWS code deploy in my case. And for the tags I have mentioned, name to be my instance. The rest of the things as it is, then submit. Now it will create everything in order. can see that security group is already created. Now for instance, it has now started the resource creation. You can see resources in here as well. You can see that SSH security group as well as my instance, both of them have been created. So I'll go to this particular link and select this within security you can see that these inbound rules are as mentioned in the template and now to check whether the user data got implemented or not we'll be just checking it through our public IP address now you can see that hello world from user data has been displayed over the screen 
so this happened because we already mentioned to show this hello world from user data through our index.html so we could directly access this particular page so hope you found this video useful if you really like the video please hit that like button please like share and subscribe the channel if you found the videos really good and at the same time uh, don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates so thank you so much and have a nice day